My name is Kainton and welcome to another brand new video on the Transformer Architecture and today we are going to be talking about positional encoding. So what does it mean positional encoding and how do we calculate positional encoding for the Transformer model? This is what I'm going to explain to you step by step with no step skipped and it's going to be as clear as possible. And I'd like to remind you that this series of videos is for anyone who wants to understand the Transformer model and also other topics in data science. So consider subscribing to my channel if you've not. Let's now understand what is positional encoding. The first thing you need to do is you need to understand the very first step in the Transformer architecture or in the attention mechanism is that you have a sequence of tokens, right? This is the first step. Now, in my previous tutorial, we discussed how to take this and then we derive the embeddings for it and then we, we, with the embeddings, we calculate the attention values and then this is going to give us the enriched context vector we are going to feed into the decoder section. Now, where does positional encoding come into play? How does positional encoding fit into this whole system? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to understand that this sequence of tokens, we calculate attention from this sequence of tokens. However, the position of each of the tokens in the sequence also matter. So we are trying to say that we need to take this positional information and use it to enrich the embeddings before we actually calculate the attention. So calculation of the attention comes after we've actually provided the positional information for these tokens. So let's take an example, just to clarify, let's take an example that we have. Now you already know that for embeddings, we have what we call the embedding dimension D, right? D model, right? So this is the embedding dimension. And in this case, let's assume that the embedding dimension here is three. What it means that the embedding dimension here is three is that for each of the token, for each of the token in the sequence, the embedding vector will be of dimension 3. So let's try to demonstrate this using an example. So we have I log cards and we have the embedding vectors. For I, we have the embedding vectors to be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So basically we are using three uh, values or a vector of dimension 3, dimension 0, 1, 2, to represent each of the tokens. And that's why we say here in this example, our D model is 3. So this is a design choice. This is not something you decide to choose yourself. So it's a design choice or architectural um, um, property of the model that is going to be used. And in case of law, let's also just assume some random values 0 0.3, 0 0.22, and 1.2. And for cards, let's also assume some values 0 0.11, 0 0.20, and 0 0.4. Okay, so we have our embeddings for each of the tokens, and we have the, our embedding vectors right here. Let's understand the almighty formula for positional encoding because before now I explained to you the almighty formula for attention. You remember that? The next one you need to understand is the almighty formula for positional encoding. So let's write it out and then we are going to use it to calculate the positional information and we are going to enrich this with these uh, values we derive and then we are going to see what it looks like. So the almighty formula says PE Positional encoding for POS pose I is given by is given by sine POS divided by to the power of 2i over D model. Now we also have a second formula here that says PE for the position. Actually, this is position 2i. Position 2i plus 1 is given by the cosine of the same thing. It's going to be POS and 2i over d model. Now, the formula reads that for even positions, 
we are going to calculate the positional encoding value to be sine POS post divided by 10,000 to the power of 2i over d of a d model, you already have d model, and for odd number positions, I'm going to be cosine of post divided by 10,000 to the power of 2i over d model. And so what is POS and what is i? POS is the position, is the index of the token in the sequence. So in this case, we have, for i, we have POS values for 0, 1, 2, right? Now, i, these values i here, is the values for the index of the, of the embedding dimension in the embedding vector. So in this case, we have one, uh, 0, 1, 2. So we have dimension 0, dimension 1, dimension 2. So let's now calculate the positional, positional encoding values for our vectors. Now, for this, for this uh, dimension 0 of, of, uh, of this vector, sorry, for dimension 0 of this token, which has this embedding, which is for this dimension 0, we are going to use this formula. And so I'm going to just create another, another uh, thing here. I love cards. And now we are going to calculate, sorry, I'm going outside of the screen. And now we are going to calculate this time, not the embeddings, but the positional encoding values. And it's going to be, let's calculate it and then we write it out here. So for position zero, is an odd, uh, position zero is an even number, right? Position zero is even, odd, even. So we are going to use this formula right here. So let's calculate for position zero, which is in this case for this one, we are going to calculate PE. In this case, in this case, position zero, right? Position zero, but dimension zero. So in this case, our I is zero, which is I, which is here. So these are POS and this is our I, right? Okay, so in this case, we have POS, right? POS uh, is going to be, POS in this case is zero. This is what we are using. And we are going to use uh, also zero because two times zero is zero. We are going to say sine and POS is what? Zero divided by everything here, 10,000 to the power of two I of a D model is going to be also one. So it's going to be 10,000 to the power of one, which is also going to give us sine zero and what will be sine zero? Let me use my calculator to check what sine zero will be. What is sine zero? The sine of zero is zero. Sine zero in this case is zero. So it means that here we have zero, okay? Here we have zero. We are now going to move to the next one, position one, and we are going to use the second formula. In this case, we are going to use the second formula, PE. POS is the same, is zero. And this time, in this case, now we have one, two I plus one, so three. So two I plus one is three, right? And it's going to be cos, and it's going to be was the po position here is one, right? So it's going to be one divided by, one divided by 10,000 to the power of what? To the power of two I over D model. So it's going to be two I over D model. Uh, two I in this case is two, D model is three. So it's going to be two over three. So this is going to give us something like cos, um, I think I'm going to just go up here cos 1 divided by 10,000 to the power of 2 over 3. And what is 2 over 3 is going to be uh, 0 0.67, right? 0 0.67, 0 0.67. So if we evaluate this number, it's going to give us, let me use my calculator once again, 1,000 to the power of 0 0.667. 
1,000.667 is approximately 100.23. So we have 1,000 to the power of 0 0.67 is 100.23, and let's go ahead to complete this calculation. One, one over 100.23. Frac one, 100.23 is approximately 0 0.00998. So we have the cosine, uh, we have the value, so we have to take the cosine of this, and let's check. Uh, what is cos? Cosine of 0 0.00998. The cosine of 0 0.00998 is approximately 0.99995. So we have this value here to be the positional encoding value for this dimension here. So it's going to be 0.99995. And we are going to also calculate the positional encoding value for, for this dimension here for 2. We are going to go back to use the sine uh, function. So let's calculate this again so that we derive the final result. We are still in position zero. We are still in position zero right here. You, are, you, are see, you see we are still in position zero. So it's going to be zero. And we are going to be doing 2i. And this case of i, i is uh, uh, 2, right? So it's going to be 4. 2i is equal to 4. So we are going to do, use the same formula that says uh, POS in this case is going to be 2 divided by to the power of what is going to be 2i over d. So it's going to be 4, 4 over 3. Now this is going to give us something like, I'm going to use my calculator again, 10,000 to the power of 4 over 3 gives us what? 10,000 to 4 over 3 is approximately 25111.886. So we have the value uh, here, and then we are going to do the final calculation here to give us 2 divided by 2511.886 is approximately 0 0.000796. So we have the value for this, uh, for positional encoding value for this dimension, and it's going to be 0 0.000796. And this is what we have here, right? So what do you observe? You observe that we have the positional encoding values. So we call this, this value, let's just try to understand. We, call, we have this value to be the PE value. And this is our PE. And, and this, is our, uh, this is our E. Right? So once you calculate the positional encoding values and you have the encoding, what do you do? We are going to add the two of them together. So you are going to do PE. Actually, I'm going to just write it in the other way. So I'm going to say E plus PE. And how do we do this? We are going to do an element-wise addition. So we are going to do 0 0.1 plus 0, 0 0.2 plus this, 0 0.1 plus this. So once you do this, you get this value, and you have this enriched uh, uh, embedding here, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is. So this enriched values you receive here is what you, now, what you are now going to use to pass into the attention block to derive the attention values. So this is how positional encoding works. Take note, we calculate the positional encoding using either sine or cosine function. For even numbers, for even numbers, we are using the sine function, and for odd numbers of dimension value, we are using the cosine function. So for 0, 2, 4, 6, we are using the sine function, and for 1, 3, 5, the value of the dimension we are talking about, we are using the cosine function. So now I'm trying to, I'm now going to give you an assignment. We've done for position 0, right? We've done for position 0, and we've done for uh, 
i, which is in this case for position 0 for all the dimensions. Now I want you to do for position 1 for this in this case. So calculate, calculate the positional encoding values for position 1, right? Position 1, which is in this case here. And then sum them up and let me know what you have in the comment box below. So this way I'm going to stop. I would like to thank you very much for viewing. If you have challenges following any of these courses, please let me know in the comment box and also subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. Also support me on Patreon because this is what I do currently to help the science communities and anybody that actually wants to improve his knowledge about AI and other related topics. I remain kind son and I'm always there for you and hopefully we we'll see you in the next part.